Well, the U.S. Surgeon General just came out and made a major announcement that gun violence in the U.S. is a major health risk. You think? Goodness gracious. This is, uh, you know, here's the thing I want to say about this because his solutions are dangerous. Let's start there. His solutions only hurt law-abiding citizens, and his solutions are only going to cause the deaths of many, many, many more Americans. Here's why. Well, let's take a look at what he had to say. It's quoted as saying, people want to be able to walk through their neighborhoods and be safe. America should be a place where all of us can go to school, go to work, go to the supermarket and go to our house of worship without having to worry that that's going to put our life at risk. All right, we're going to stop with the quote for a second and we're going to talk about why this is dangerous. Okay, obviously we all want that. We all want that. Our solutions are very different. My solution to be able to go to all those places. Now, keep in mind, I was an educator for 20 years. I've, I've been, I've looked at this path a lot. The solution is the good guys need guns. That's the solution. Stop making us soft targets. Stop making our schools soft targets. Stop making our churches soft targets. Stop making our grocery stores soft targets. You know, I've said this many times. You need a gun on you now. Like, you shouldn't go outside today without a gun. You should have one on you. And that makes everywhere you go safer for even the people around you. And this is stating the obvious. Um, so, you know, what he said is a no-brainer. <laughs> Duh, of course it's dangerous to go out there. Are you kidding me? You met humans lately? But the reality is, is I'm safer because I always have a gun on me. My family is safer in those places because I always have a gun on me and many of them have guns on them. That's why it's safer. It's not safer because of anything he's going to do. And here's the danger. Because think about this for a second. If you take my guns away from me because guns are dangerous, I'm more at risk. Like now I don't feel safe in those places anymore because if I go to those places and somebody has a gun, I might as well just be like, well, just shoot me. I, I don't have, there's nothing I can do about it. I, mean, I, throw, I throw a rock at you or something. You know, because why? The Surgeon General took my guns. Is that why? Because he goes on to say that to drive down gun deaths, the U.S. needs to ban automatic guns. Well, they're already banned. <laughs> Let's start with that. I can't own an automatic gun. Goodness gracious. But what he's referring to is, I know he means semi. I know what he means. He means semi-automatic guns. He just doesn't know what he's talking about is the problem. But he means semi-automatic guns. Okay, how is that going to help anybody? So now, if you take my semi-automatic gun away from me, well, if anybody's going to come in any of those soft targets and start shooting people up, they're going to do it with a semi-automatic rifle or a semi-automatic handgun. And now I'm stuck with what? Like, what do I got? A revolver, which is great. A revolver's a great self-defense handgun, by the way, but it defies the point, you know? In, in a scenario like that, I'd probably rather have, uh, you know, like a Glock 17 or, or a, you know, an FN 5.7 or something like that. Like, that's what I'd rather have in those scenarios. And then he goes on to say that they also want to introduce universal background checks for purchasing guns. It's already a thing. Regulate the industry. That's already a thing. Pass laws that would restrict their use in public spaces and penalize people who fail to safely store their weapons. I mean, come on. The Supreme Court just declared that I have the right to carry my gun in a public space. And now the Surgeon General wants to tell the Supreme Court that they're wrong and somehow that this is the solution to gun violence. Now I wanna take a moment and talk about what he did not talk about. Nowhere in this discussion did the mental health crisis that this country is undergoing right now come up. Because everybody that goes in these soft targets and shoots up people are crazy. They're all crazy. 
is like that's ultimately what it comes down to is they were crazy uh they had a mental health crisis and it wasn't dealt with and then they went and dealt with it on their own in their own way in their own terms um and it usually ends with the lives of many and their life as well and and this is at the root of how you fix it you know you want to fix the problem don't take my guns <clears throat> you know you're definitely not taking the criminals guns if you take it any guns you're just taking law-abiding citizens guns and you're preventing us from being able to defend ourselves from the crazy people with guns um, therein lies the number one problem is the mental health crisis because even if for some reason you were able to manage to get all the guns to go away somehow which you're never going to do that but let's just say you could then they're going to drive a van through a park or they're going to, you know, stab people or go in with hatchets or something like they're going to do. They're going to blow something up like they're going to do something. Uh, they're definitely not going to just do nothing. You know, they'll find some other means of causing damage to people before they end their own lives and like the cowards that they are. So don't talk to me about this, you know, gun violence pandemic that we have in our country you know duh that's why i need a gun <laughs> hello why do you think i want to carry a gun to protect myself from those crazy people you're not going to take their gun don't take my gun that's not the solution fix the mental health crisis therein lies your solution have stricter prison sentences for criminals, things like that. Why don't we try to just punish the actual people causing the problems for once? This is a huge problem. It, it's, it's terrible to see it come out like this. You know, it's the way everybody always goes, you know, uh, more gun control, more gun control is the answer. What do we do about this, you know, gun violence problem in the U.S.? Gun control, gun control, gun control, gun control. That's not even an answer. That's the opposite of a solution. That's making soft targets softer targets. That's all you're doing. And until you figure out how to deal with this mental health crisis, you're just wasting everybody's time. I recommend you focus on things like cancer and heart issues and stuff like that, Surgeon General, because you're just wasting everybody's time.